Hello and welcome to my loft and today's video is on what do you do if you get given a canal boat. Step one, measure where the boat is going to go. Step two, cut the ply board. As you can see this was actually done last October. And these are the sad last pictures I have of Lucy, the train cat, who was always under my feet. Now the hardboard is cut to shape, insert underneath the grass, and all ready to go two sides and I'm standing on a lump and that lump is where the heating pipes are so the canal has to go through the lump or at least appear to these corners they have to be movable because if the train crashes you have to be able to get the train out because I'm using scenics woodland scenics and building up the sides for when I pour the resin. Unfortunately, I didn't really read how to do this properly. Metcalf, I've made these myself. They're not too bad for me. Because of the shape, it's not possible to buy any pre-made uh, canal tunnels pour the woodland scenics resin and I hadn't really read the blurb and it was going to be quite expensive so I decided to use some acrylic water paint it onto the wood and suddenly discovering the wood's not particularly flat, so I need to fasten the wood down to the carpet underneath. And the resin sets, whoops, you can see straight through the resin. I was hoping it'd be somewhat uh, thicker and uh, murky water was quite transparent. Let's just see what the acrylic water does on the other side. It looks fairly opaque, but of course when it dries, it was transparent. This is a bridge and again, the acrylic water has gone black. So time to get some acrylic green, paint over the resin, to hide the wood from underneath. Splash it on. That gives that slight ripple appearance. Also the idea is put your brushes in the freezer means that you don't need to uh, clean them. Pour on the resin spread it out and let's just hope it works newspaper is important to keep any bits of dust off acrylic water on top of the acrylic green and at this point I'm just hoping it would work I discovered that the woodland scenics would cost a hundred pounds so I decided to go for option B. And let's see how good it is. I think not too bad for me. Tunnels to go through the carpet and just look at the reflection of the boat. To be honest, I'm not too bothered 
if it's not as realistic as more able modelers but quite respectable and you have to bear in mind this is the view I normally have so I think a success in the end stream not too bad thank you for watching and I do hope you don't make the same mistakes that I have made and I hope to see you another day. Bye.